Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to edit header in Astro WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we would need to do is to have the Astro theme. So if you haven't installed the Astro theme, so for that what you need to do, you need to go inside the appearance and click on the themes. And from here you can see this, I have already installed the Astro theme. So if I haven't installed the Astro theme, what I would do, I would basically click on add new theme. And here I will simply search for Astro. Alright, so you can see this we have the Astro theme here. So since we have already installed this, otherwise you will be able to see the install option just like this. Okay, so after this, what we need to do to customize our header, we need to go inside the customize. So in the customize, as you can see this, we have the header builder. So I have to click on this. So in the header builder, I have the site title and logo. I have the button, I have the primary menu and I also have the transparent header. Okay, but right now we're going to simply focus on the first three things. So if I just click on the site title and the logo, you will be able to see our logo here. So if I wanted to change the logo, I can simply click on the change logo. And from here, I can simply change my logo. All right. So let's close this. And if I wanted to have the different logo for the Retina devices, I can also change the logo from here. And from here, I can change the width of the logo. So let's just change the width of it. So you can see this. You can see the change on the screen. All right. But I'm going to go here with the default value. And after this, I have the site title. So if I wanted to have the site title, I will simply write down whatever I want to have as the site title. And after this, I would enable the visibility. So right now, it's not visible either on the mobile screen or the tablet screen or the desktop screen. And now I will simply remove the logo from here. Now you'll be able to see our site title here. So either you can have the site title or the logo, but I'm going to have my logo again. So I just simply go back, click on the select logo. Let's just click on the logo. So let's click on the select. And I can crop the logo from here, but I don't want to crop anything. So let's click on crop image. All right. So now I have my own logo. All right. So I think we can also have the title together, but I don't want to have this. So I will simply disable this. Okay. That's perfect. But if I wanted to have this, I would just simply click on this and then we would have our title as well. All right, so after this, we have the inline logo and the site title. So this would simply put together logo and title horizontally. Okay, so if I just enable site title visibility. And after this, if I enable inline logo and site title, now you can see this, we are having our logo and the title horizontally. Okay, but right now I'm going to simply disable this and I will also disable the visibility of the site title. All right, so after this, I also have the tagline. And if you wanted to have the tagline, you can have anything, whatever you want here. And you can have the visibility of site tagline as well from here. All right. And in the last, we have the option of the visibility. So this option is for our logo. So if I wanted to have the logo on the desktop screen, I would enable this value. But if I don't want to have this, I will simply disable it from here. And that is how I can enable and disable for the other screens. Okay, so let's just enable this from here. All right, so now I'll simply go inside the design. So in the design, you can see this, I can change the title color and the tagline, and I can also add some margin in the spacing. Okay, so let's go back. So the second thing that we have is the button. Okay, so in the button, we have a text here, tag uh, action. So if I wanted to change the text here, I can simply change the text from here. So for example, I just wanted to write down call me or I can write down the call and then I can put the number here something like this and I can also add the link to it and the relation of the link to it okay and I can also enable whether I want to open this on the new tab or not and we also have the visibility option for this as well and after this we have the design of it so in the design we have the text color background color border color and the phone and we have the border width border radius and also the spacing Okay, so now let's just go back. So after this, we have the primary menu. So in the primary menu, we have the width of our menu. And we also have the option of the item divider. And we have the visibility option as usual. And 
we also have the design here okay so in the design we have the menu hover style and we also have the sub menu container so we have these different values here so we also have menu color font spacing okay but if i wanted to change or update the menu from it i would click on general now i'll click on the configure menu from here and here you can see the option of the primary menu secondary menu off canvas menu and also these other menus so right now we only have the primary menu and in the primary menu we only have a single one so that is already selected but if i wanted to edit this i would click on the edit and from here i can simply edit my menu okay so if i just click on let's say about so i can change the label from it of the about and also for the services also for the projects and also for the contact all right so this is how we can edit the menu so if i just try to change the value of the contact so let's just write down contact us you can see we have the contact us here but right now i'm going to go here with the default value but that is how we can change the name of our menu items and even i can change the order and also add a new items into my menu as well all right so now let's just go back okay so now we have covered the three main things that we can customize in it and we also have the design here so in the design you can see we have the width and the margin all right but one thing that you can see here that we have the three different layers here so the first layer is basically the above header and the second letter is for the header and the last layer is for the below header okay so if i just want to add something above my header what i will do i'll simply click on add here and let's say i wanted to add the social icons here so you can see that the social icon will be added and if I wanted to add anything here, so I wanted to add something like the search button. You can see this, we have the search button here. So similarly, if you wanted to add anything in your above header, you can do this from here. And also, we can do the same thing with the below header. So in the below header, if I just wanted to go here with the account, you can see this, I can have the account. Okay, so that is how we can use the above and the below header. But right now, I just want to use the above header and let's just do some changes into it so i would basically like to change the color of it okay so let's just go for the black color or something dark here all right so i think this color will look fine and after this we can also customize the thing based on our sizes okay so if i just click on the journal and you can see this the visibility is on every devices is on the mobile tablet and the desktop all right so these above and the below headers are specifically for the different screens so if i just click on the tablet version now you will be able to see there is no above header for us but if i just go back to the desktop version we do have our above header so if i just click here if i want to have the same thing i will also add the elements here in my above header so let's click here so this would be the social icons all right and similarly i can add the search button as well all right and if i wanted to have this for the mobile version i can also do this from here so for example i don't want to have this search icon for the mobile version so i will simply remove this from here and now you can see this i can have it here and if i just click here on the design you can see this i can have the different colors for specifically for the mobile version as well okay so now let's go back to our desktop version so that is how we can customize the header in astro and wordpress so if you really find this video useful Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.